Selling your own products through conventions or having your own shop can be an invaluable income source for artists, whether you're a hobbyist wanting to make some additional income or you want to be or already are a full-time artist. For exhibiting at a convention or having a shop knowing what products to sell is essential. Since I sold my own products at a convention for the first time this year, I researched a lot of product options for artists. So in case you're a first-time exhibitor or shop owner or you're looking to refine your process, this video will offer some valuable tips and insights. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm May, an artist who's been selling art on my Etsy shop for two years and started selling art at conventions this year. Today I'm excited to share my experience with ordering products for my exhibitor table at Dokomi. Along this I'll include the process of drawing a Genshin Impact character, which I also sold as sticker at the convention in this video. Let's get started. Ordering products for the convention was exciting and challenging at the same time. Seeing your art transformed into tangible items that people could buy and enjoy is a nice experience. But behind the scenes there were many decisions to make and lessons to learn. The thing is, before exhibiting at Dokomi I would solely rely on the print on demand service Printful for selling my art at my Etsy store. Like this I didn't have to put in time for shipping products myself and it was better shipping wise in general as Printful has manufacturing stations worldwide. Of course. I didn't make as much profit from this since Printful would get most of the money from the order cost unless I would heavily overprice my products. But for the print on demand option I also really like the aspect that products only are created when an order is placed whereas when you have the products yourself you have inventory from which you take things for the orders which does not ensure that you either have enough products or you may have too many. For Dokomi I wanted to go for environmentally friendly options using biodegradable stickers and recycled paper for my prints. At first I also thought about acrylic keychains but decided against it. Prints tend to bring in the most profit, stickers are okay, but keychains generally bring in the least. Plus for stickers and prints there are many options for companies, even local ones, whereas for keychains there are fewer companies producing them. I found myself overwhelmed with the sheer number of choices available for product options and companies to get them from. For example, Vograce is a common company for ordering keychains, but since it's shipped from China I didn't want to order just a few things. Ordering in bulk is more resource efficient and cost effective, but it also requires careful planning to ensure you don't overstock or understock. I contacted the company where I would get my stickers from, Stickerit, and the one where I would get my prints from, HelloPrint. Both had excellent customer service, which was reassuring. Stickerit offered many options and I chose the biodegradable ones. They even sent design proofs ensuring the stickers turned out exactly as I wanted. For prints I went with recycled paper ones using HelloPrint and the shipping was quicker than I had expected. Now let's talk about some of the challenges I faced and how you can avoid them. First, the environmental impact. I wanted to minimize this, so I chose biodegradable stickers and recycled paper for my prints. While this is a great approach, it can sometimes limit your options and increase costs. For me this wasn't the case, which was reassuring. Next, the cost. Ordering products can get expensive, especially when considering the quality and environmental factors. It's essential to budget carefully and prioritize items that are most likely to sell well. In addition to this, figure Figuring out the amount of products you would like to order is challenging as well. It's difficult to predict how many sales you'll make, how many people are interested in your products, especially if this is your first time exhibiting at a specific event or selling something yourself through an online shop. Another issue was timing. I had to ensure that my products would arrive on time, which meant planning and ordering well in advance. Last minute deliveries not arriving before the event can lead to a lot of stress. So what did I learn from all this? First, it's important to research and choose your suppliers carefully. Look for companies with good customer service, high quality products and options that align with your values, such as sustainability. Second, always plan and order ahead. Give yourself plenty of time to account for production and shipping delays. This will save you a lot of stress and ensure that you have everything you need well before the convention or a shop release. Third, balance quality with cost. It's tempting to go for the cheapest option, but investing in quality products will pay off in the long run. Customers appreciate well-made items and are more likely to return if they're satisfied with their purchase. 
Here are some actionable steps to help you successfully order products for your artist alley table. Research suppliers, take the time to find reliable suppliers who offer high quality products, read reviews, ask for samples and compare prices. For example, Stickerit and Helloprint provided me with excellent service and quality. Plan your products, decide what items you want to sell based on what has sold well in the past and what you think will appeal to your audience. Prints, stickers and keychains are popular options, but focus on what fits your art style and brand. Consider the environment. If sustainability is important to you, look for environmentally friendly options like biodegradable stickers and recycled paper. It might be more expensive, but it's a worthwhile investment. Budget wisely, keep track of your costs and create a budget. Prioritize essential items and be mindful of your expenses. Ordering in bulk can save money in the long run, but make sure you're confident in your sales projections. Order early, give yourself plenty of time for production and shipping. Aim to have everything ready at least a few weeks before the event to avoid any last minute stress. Test your products. Once you receive your products, check them thoroughly. Make sure the quality meets your standards and that there are no mistakes. This will save you from any unpleasant surprises at the convention. Ordering products for a convention or your shop can be a complex process, but with careful planning and research, you can ensure a successful and stress-free experience. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about art. I'd love to hear about your experiences and any tips you might have, so leave a comment below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll dive into my transportation problems and how I managed to get everything to the convention. You can find this illustration as well as some other Genshin Impact characters in sticker form on my shop. If you're interested in seeing some full screen recorded process videos like you did in this video or even time lapses and full resolution images of my art, you can find them on my Patreon. Let me know what you think about the illustration I included in this video. Drawing it was a nice experience. Have a nice day, thanks for watching and bye!